Good afternoon. Can I ask you something, Butcher? What exactly is veal? Veal is meat from calves. There are two different kinds, white veal and rosé veal. Veal's slightly more expensive than beef, but it's very tender. Veal comes from calves that are a maximum of eight months old. After birth, most females, the heifers, remain at the dairy farm. The males are destined for the veal sector. Immediately after birth, the animals are fed colostrum. This is the cow's first milk, which contains antibodies against sickness. Through their ear tags, calves can be monitored lifelong. A computer system registers all the numbers in a central database. The veal sector is important to the dairy industry. The sector buys the calves and uses a lot of milk powder to rear them. The veal sector accounts for 15% of the milk price. After two weeks, the calves leave for a collection centre. Buyers sort the animals according to breed, gender and weight. After the price is determined, the animals go to a specialist veal farmer. Not all the calves arriving at the farms come from the Netherlands. A substantial number come from other European countries. They arrive in the Netherlands via specialized transport under good welfare conditions. There, they go to calf farms. There are two kinds of farms, veal farms and rosé veal farms. Veal calves stay at the farms for up to eight months. Rosé veal calves stay for a maximum of 12 months. The sector has a strong structure with calf farmers, milk powder manufacturers and slaughterhouses. They cooperate closely to supply the highest quality. Before the calves arrive, the stalls are cleaned and heated. For the first weeks, the animals have an individual place. They can get used to their new environment and receive individual care. After about a month, they proceed to group housing. The calf farmer is a specialist who knows how to deal with animals. Animal welfare is one of his top priorities. Specialized animal feed companies produce milk powder from mainly dairy ingredients. An automatic feeding system prepares the milk. The animals are fed in the mornings and evenings. While the calves are drinking, the farmer inspects the animals. The calves are also fed roughage daily. Roughage promotes good digestion, keeping the animals healthy. A special way of housing is Peter's farm. Here, during the entire period, calves live in herds, averaging 60 animals.
On a rosy veal farm, the animals are also given milk. After three months, they switch completely to roughage and compound feed. The animals are also fed byproducts from the food industry, such as brewers' spent grain and potato shred. A specialist vet regularly calls to discuss the animal's health together with the calf farmer. The veal sector wants to supply guaranteed meat quality. To achieve this, the sector has set up its own inspection body, the SKV. SKV stands for Foundation for Quality Guarantee of the Veal Sector. Throughout the entire production chain, SKV inspects the animals and feeds, thus safeguarding quality. This inspection system places the veal sector way ahead of all other meat sectors. When it comes to manure processing, the sector is at the forefront too. Via high-pressure tubes and manure transporters, the car's liquid manure of well over 500 farms is transported to processing installations. The manure is processed into fertilizer that's used, for instance, in garden centers. Manure also goes directly to arable farmers. When veal calves are a maximum of eight months old and rosé veal calves a maximum of 12 months old, they're slaughtered. The animals are received in a quiet and calming environment. Then they're stunned and slaughtered. Next, the meat is processed into different kinds of quality veal, which is sold across the world. Slaughterhouse quality systems are organized so that each piece of veal can always be traced. Look, madam, here it is. This is the difference between beef and veal. Veal is slightly paler in color and beef a bit redder. This is because of the animal's ages. Five veal escalops then, please. I think we'll give them a try. Fry over a moderate heat for five minutes and you'll have a delicious tender piece of meat. Here you are. Thanks very much. Enjoy your meal. Thank you. Come on, let's go. Compared to other meats, veal is paler in color, has a delicate taste and is tender. Veal is quick to prepare, easily digestible and low in calories, making it also suitable for diets. What's for dinner? We're having veal and fried potatoes today. Mmm, <laughs> delicious, isn't it? Lovely. Nice. 